Aristotle believed that morality was not a sim- <clears throat> was not simply a collection of actions or consequences. Instead, Aristotle believed that morality was a teachable set of characteristics that required constant practice. <clears throat> so, in order to be a good moral person in life, you had to work at it. It took time and effort to be a good person. <clears throat> In um, Aristotle's theory, he discussed virtues and vices, <clears throat> and virtues and vices are character character traits that are deep rooted in habits. So he really emphasized the importance of practicing these habitually. You couldn't just do this character trait once or twice and be a good person. It had to be woven into your daily life in order to be a good person. And <clears throat> it was really important that it was consistent. And not just done a few times. <clears throat> um, so he believed that virtues um, were a midpoint between vices. And the vices, there was two different types of vices. One of excess of that virtue and then one of deficiency or like less of that virtue. <clears throat> so for example... Um, The example is the virtue is bravery, um, and then the vice of deficiency is cowardice, and then the vice of excess is foolhardiness. Um, And then there's, in order to be, it's like the main goal of virtue ethics is to achieve the good life, and the good life is called um, eudomania. Eudomania. Um, and this was like the main goal. This was like the the main important thing of virtue ethics. <clears throat> and with in achieving eudomania, there is two things that can help you to get there. So there is something called aret, which is the deep rooted character of a person that embodies the moral virtues. So if this person has a good character and really embodies these good virtues, then this will help them to achieve eudaimonia. And then this, along with phrenesis, is the practical wisdom that allows one to properly use these virtues. So if you didn't have any practical wisdom with these, with these, um, deep-rooted, like, character, um, traits of the person to be a good moral person, then it wouldn't really, um, help you to achieve eudaimonia. So, arete plus phrenesis um, helps you to achieve eudomania. <clears throat> and then, because we have to learn how to be moral, and we're not born with morality, or morality isn't innate, um, <clears throat> Aristotle came up with something called the moral exemplar. And this gives advice how to guide one's actions to be a moral person through this, the moral exemplar. So, he said that the best way to be a good moral person is to watch a moral person and follow their example. So this was important because if you're able to watch them, you could learn from how they were being moral, and then you would take that into your own life. <clears throat> However, there is two, um, there's two objections that could be um, given to or argued against virtue ethics. The first is that is there's the problem known as the continent person. So this, so in the moral exemplar, Aristotle tells people to watch other moral people to learn how to be moral. Um, However, sometimes somebody could be watching a person that they think is moral, but doesn't really like truly embody the virtues and is just kind of like going through the motions of this and um then and they're not like truly happy when they're performing these actions it's just kind of like all for show um and doesn't really matter to them and this could be an issue because um and this could lead the person who's trying to become moral and learn morality and achieve the good life this could lead them off the track of that Second, um, Aristotle believed something that is pretty problematic. Um, He believed that the the lower classes or the enslaved people could not be moral. He believes, um, you know, we weren't 
born with morals, but we could learn morals, but the people of the lower class or enslaved people or the working class could not be moral because of their status and because they had no education, mainly because they're, they were poorer than the upper class and they could not receive education and because you have to learn um, virtue ethics to, or excuse me, sorry, because you have to learn um, morals to be a good person that these people couldn't achieve that. And I think that's extremely problematic because then you could turn the question around and say, well, are these people who are treating <clears throat> the lower class and the enslaved people and the working class, um, like not, who are treating them that way, and not, not in a good way, are they moral? So I think that, um, I think that Aristotle's ideas are very interesting. However, he does have a few, like those two issues with it, especially the lower class, because I believe that's very problematic because I believe that every person can learn how to be a morally good person.